Ram Singh and Sons General Store dealer in a wide range of grocery and beverages on either wholesale or retail basis. We are located at Lot 111 Third Avenue, Bartica, where you can shop in comfort with easy access for all of your grocery needs. On location, you can also check out our furniture and electrical appliance department. We also stock mining spares and accessories at Ram Singh and Sons General Store. Warm greetings to you and welcome to another feature presentation of G News, giving you the genuine genesis of the trending headline news stories. The Delta variant of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes the disease COVID-19, has become the more dominant deadly strain of the coronavirus globally. And Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony said that a higher percentage of Guyana's population has to be vaccinated. The minister made this declaration during his daily COVID-19 update on Tuesday, October the 12th, 2021. The minister explained that Guyana has been striving to vaccinate all eligible adults and more recently, children over the age limit of 12 years to ensure that they are protected against experiencing the more severe and life-threatening forms of COVID-19. As part of efforts to achieve this herd immunity, Guyana has been aiming to vaccinate about 80% of the targeted adult population. That would be about 410, 4,000 69 adults out of an estimated 512, 9,083 adults. Efforts are also being made to vaccinate about 58,345 children in the 12 to 17 age group. The total number of children in this age group is about 72,904. Just to remind you that you're looking at another feature presentation of G News, giving you the genuine genesis of the details of trending news headline stories. National statistics to the date of Monday, the 11th of October 2021, indicated that active COVID-19 cases stood at 3,916. 122 of whom were hospitalized. The infectious disease hospital was then housing 83 cases, regionally two in Region 7, Cuyuni, Mazaruni. The Batica Town, Region 7, remained the region's uh, hotspot with 79 active cases. You are reminded to observe all protocols of COVID-19 emergency measures which emphasize the correct and constant use of a face mask that's covering both your nose and mouth when leaving your home and maintaining six feet of a physical distance from others and good hand hygiene. Just to remind you that you're looking at another feature presentation of G News, giving you the genuine genesis of the details of trending news headline stories. 
construction works has been stalled for some time at Batica Town's Transport and Harbors Department, Stellin. Commuters who regularly travel the Batica Town to Perica route with the ferry service are eagerly awaiting the completion of construction works being done to the Batica Town's Stellin. The recent intervention by the subject ministry with the contract of the said project to have the Stellin completed in the shortest time frame is very much welcomed by all. However, the corresponding activities thereafter on site to indicate that indeed construction works will soon be completed there are not yet being witnessed. In the meantime, commuters using Martigatong Perica Ferry Service continues to endure the uncomfortable conditions in embarking and disembarking the ferry service at Batica Town's Transport and Harbors Department Stelling. On Tuesday, October the 12th, 2021, yet again another vehicle encountered difficulties in embarking onto the ferry from the Stelling. This occurred primarily due to the level of the tide. The completion of construction works by the contractor at the Batica Towns Stelling is eagerly being anticipated by commuters to ultimately aid them to comfortably embark and disembark the ferry service there. Ram Singh and Sons General Store dealer in a wide range of grocery and beverages on either wholesale or retail basis. We are located at Lot 111 Third Avenue, Bartica, where you can shop in comfort with easy access for all of your grocery needs. On location, you can also check out our furniture and electrical appliance department. We also stock mining spares and accessories at Ram Singh and Sons General Store. Chiki's Variety Store located at the side of the Bartica Municipal Market. Check us out for better prices on all items on display. Our prices are better and competitive. Chiki's Variety Store giving you all that you need at better prices where when you shop at us, you also save big and quality products. Chiki's Variety Store located at the side of the Bartica Municipal Market. Every day it's a sales promotion there. Dino's Investment Limited, uh, Bartica's rock bottom bargain giant, uh, for all of your grocery and beverages needs on either wholesale or retail basis. Uh, we also stock cooking gas and many more at Dino's Investment Limited, 2nd Avenue and 5th Street, Bartica. Just to remind you that you're looking at another feature presentation of G News, giving you the genuine genesis of the details of trending news headline stories. On Monday, October the 4th, 2021, the Facebook Inks app and its photo sharing platform, Instagram, were down for thousands of users. According to outage tracking website, downdetector.com, the portal showed that there were more than 20,000 incidents of people reporting issues with Facebook and Instagram. Meanwhile, the social media giants Instant messaging platform WhatsApp was also down for over 14,000 users, while Messenger was down for nearly 3,000 users. Down Detector only tracks outages by collating status reports from a series of sources, including user submitted errors on its platform. The outage affected a large number of users globally. Ram Singh and Sons General Store now presents to you our furniture department on our location at 3rd Avenue and 9th Street, Batica Town. Check us out for the best in class, quality and price around Batica Town. 
Allison Mini Mart and Confectionery, Bartica Vendors Arcade for all of your confectionery needs. We also stock a wide array of quality beverage products and ice cream products. Also at Allison Mini Mart and Confectionery, the Bread Ambassador is always there to take care of your fresh bread and pastry needs daily. Everything is just fresh and tasty at Allison's Mini Mart and Confectionery. Michael Tessa's General Store and Meat Center, conveniently located on First Avenue, Bartica Town. Bartica's household name for all of your grocery needs and now presenting to you to our Meat Center on location. Also where you can have uh, always fresh seafood products in butterfish, snapper, banger, trout, shrimps, prawns, uh, also, too, with chicken and eggs uh, at Mike and Tessa's General Store and Meat Center, First Avenue, Bartica Town. Uh, we're also, too, having on sale uh, fresh organic vegetable products. Uh, telephone the numbers on display for more information. Just to remind you that you're looking at another feature presentation of G News, giving you the genuine genesis of the details of trending news headline stories. The Guyana Police Force is urging all citizens to adhere to the COVID-19 regulations and to report all breaches thereof to the COVID-19 Task Force on the hotlines. Uh, 626-6774 and 624-3067 and 624-2819 and toll-free GTT-0180. Regional Chairman for Region 7, Mr. Kenneth Williams, and a team comprising of Regional Vice Chair, Ms. Nageshwari Lo Chan, and members of the Civil Affairs Committee of the Embassy of USA in Guyana, recently visited the Tassarin, Kangaruma, and Simang locations in the Middle Mazaruni area as a follow-up on an earlier engagement by this team. The objective of the engagement was to conduct a follow-up medical assessment on health issues and concerns that are prevalent in these areas, which will be the basis towards hosting a medical outreach in the middle Mazaruni area. During the exercise, residents identified the presence of such ailments as typhoid, dengue, malaria, skin rashes, etc., Regional Chairman Mr. Kenneth Williams during the exercise also committed further to the residents on securing and preserving the health of residents in the region. The Guyana Police Force is urging all citizens to adhere to the COVID-19 regulations and to report all breaches thereof to the COVID-19 Task Force on the hotlines. Uh, 626-6774 and 624-3067 and 624-2819 and toll-free GTT-0180. Attention, residents and business owners of the municipality of Bartica. Our regional chairman for Region 7, Mr. Kenneth Williams, is hereby advising that an opportunity to highlight directly on service issues with the management of GTT is now being extended to you through a public consultation exercise that will be hosted on Friday, October the 15th, 2021 at 10 a.m. at the Bartica Town Hall venue. 
All COVID-19 protocols will be observed. For more information, contact the Regional Chairman's Office on 455-2224, 455-2224 during business hours. The administration of the Matica Government Secondary School has earlier signaled on the partial reopening of the school to accommodate the grades 10 and 11 students for face-to-face -face teaching and learning, effective from Monday the 11th of October 2021. We're on that date at around 845 hours, the exercise did commence. However, students from grades 7, 8, and 9 will have to continue remaining at home. Those students who are in grade 10 and 11 classes will be guided further about this scheduled return to classes. The Lazio Football Club of Bartica recently hosted its annual general meeting where a new executive committee has been elected to serve the club for the next year. The office bearers are as follows. President Mr. Sherwin De Silva, first Vice President Mr. Delroy McIntosh, second Vice President Mr. Titus Johnson, Secretary Mr. Ryan Teixeira, Treasurer Ms. Tracy Johnson, and the committee members are Mr. Orrin Blair and Mr. Seth Johnson. This news agency extends uh, tidings of congratulations and best, best wishes. And still with more news uh, on uh, the development within the football fraternity of the municipality of Bartica, as clubs affiliated to the Bartica Football Association, BFA, venture to hold their annual general meetings, Members of the Beacon Football Club hosted its annual general meeting on Thursday evening, October the 7th, 2021, where an executive committee was elected to administrate the affairs of the football club for the 2021 to 2022 period. The newly elected office bearers are President Mr. Quasey Jacobs, Vice President Mr. Mark Caesar, Secretary Ms. Carmel Williams, Treasurer Ms. Catherine Outridge, Assistant Secretary Treasurer Mr. Troy Dugan Jr. Committee members are Mr. Ryan Andres, Mr. Kenswell LaRose. The newly elected president, Mr. Quasey Jacob, has committed the football club to further work closely with the Bartica Football Association, BFA, for the benefit of the game, and the club will also focus on boosting the youth component of the football club. Congratulations and best wishes are extended to the newly elected executive committee of the Beacons Football Club. The Agatash United Football Club on Monday last also held its annual general meeting whereby office bearers were identified. The club which had previously applied for membership into the Bartica Football Association is now closer to attaining that status. The newly elected executive committee is as follows. President Mr. Mark Ambrose, Vice President Mr. Vince Hopkinson, Secretary Ms. Gwendolyn Jeffrey, Treasurer Ms. Latoya Glasgow, Assistant Secretary Treasurer Jumaine Finch. Committee members are Mr. Nigel Allen and Mr. Eric David. The vote to receive Agatash United Football Club will be on the agenda of the next General Council meeting of the Bartica Football Association. The club had participated in the Bartica Football Association's 2019 Senior League competition as a provisional member, but has been denied its bid to become a full member due to the inactivity caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Bartica Football Association currently consists of seven full members and one provisional member. And with that, we come to the end of another feature presentation of G News, giving you the genuine genesis. Before I formally take my leave of you, just let me remind you to continue take good care of your health by always keeping your hands clean as you also avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth while you stay spaciously safe wearing a face mask covering both your nose and mouth in all public places. Until we meet again, God willing, thank you, my continual best personal regards and respect.